Hey Ninja Fan, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Um, so, if you saw my last video, I promised that I would do a midweek update. Um, as I said, I don't want to be one of those people on YouTube, which is everything is fine, when it's necessarily not. Um, just, yeah, I just don't want to be false, you know what I mean? I want, I want to actually be honest. I mean, you've subscribed to my channel for a reason, so I feel it's only right that I let you know what's going on. So, first off is I am not currently working at the moment. Um, I'm still technically employed by uh, Full Throttle Entertainment, but the venue, being Star Bar, where I worked, they rang us and said, uh, we no longer need your services. Now, from what we understand, this is from Brian and talking to my boss, we don't believe there was any issue with the services itself. I mean, we're assuming they found someone cheaper and like any other business, they're just trying to save money. That's what we assume. Um, originally, they told us they were going to get the DJs to do the lights for them. And I'm thinking, well, that's great. Except I know for a fact that some of the DJs don't know how to do the lighting. I mean, I, I worked alongside them. All of them. I know all of them reasonably well. I think I put them all on friend, as friends on Facebook. They became friends because I worked with them. I can tell you, they don't know how to do lights. A couple of them do, but most of them have no idea. It's not... It's not as simple as just, you know, pushing a, a button. It's a bit more complex. It's a bit more complicated than that. I mean, yes, it's all programmed for you. You can just basically, you can sort of just push a, a button and make and make it go. But the pre-programmed patterns and movement is not in time with music. So I used to manually make a in time the music and then you gotta control the haze level and the lasers and the LED and it gets it can get quite complicated and overwhelming so that's that if I had more subscribers um, while I'm on the topic if you're new here I'm Nick please subscribe if I had more subscribers I would put ads on my videos um, just because I'm not earning money but I don't have enough subscribers to put ads or monetizement videos yet. I'm hoping that will change in the future, but as for now, that's not... I can't do that, unfortunately. So, yeah. That's the first thing. The second thing is, this past week I was in the hospital. Um, about a week ago exactly now, I think it is. If I have stomach issues, that's... No secret, I'm allergic to dairy, allergic to caffeine, and sometimes eat things and my stomach says, yeah, no, I don't like that too much. Pain, suffering, bah, it's like, I hate you. Um, yeah, so, so I, my stomach, I ate dinner, a little bit later, my stomach got really sore. I'm just thinking, oh, okay, great, oh, yeah, this again, yeah, nothing new, Some four. Started off wild, but then it got really, really, really sore. Like, I'm, the sorest it's ever been when I've had issues with my stomach. Anyway, ended up having to go to the bathroom. Um, struggled a bit. Um, I felt something. This is gonna be. This could. Let me just give you a warning now. This could get a little bit graphic. Something poked through that wasn't poo. Um, I don't know what it was, I don't know if it was intestine or something, but something poked through that was different. There was a lot of blood. Um, I, I've seen the, t I think I have may have part of mild piles and a tiny little blood every now and again, but this was a lot of blood. Enough to alarm me enough that I called an ambulance. And it was the ambulance who told me that you it is actually possible to 
to if you push too hard for your testicles to actually poke through, which which freaked me out. So there's a detached intestine. I didn't think that was possible, but the ambulance said, I'm sure I'm a, well, well, one of the ambulance people said that it, that could be it. Um, so I was, this was about 11.30 at night. I had a late dinner about an hour, hour, two hours before. Um, so I went in, had a doc, had a female doctor look at me, which was, not sure who felt more uncomfortable, me or her. Oh. And she's going to get, oh, and she's like, well, we can give you an overnight for observation. Um, the other reason is the surgeons don't, aren't here right now and they start at 7 in the morning. So, either way, I was going to stay there till 7 30. When 7 30 finally came and the surgeon, well, doctor came through, said, oh, I've talked to one of the surgeons, uh, we're just going to send you home. I, I'm still in pain. There was still blood when I go to the bathroom and you want to send me home. It's like, oh, we'll, 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 we'll prescribe some painkillers. Okay, and the blood? It's like, the surgeons don't think you're ill enough to be looked at immediately. If you want, you can ring them up and make an appointment. Now, I kicked up a fuss at this. I, at this point, I got moved to short stay. I kicked up a fuss and said, no, I'm still in pain, there's still blood, this is not good enough. I want a second opinion. I mean, talk to another surgeon, I mean, do something, this is not good enough. Very disappointed. In the end, I, the short stay people prescribed me some strong painkillers. They also gave me the direct mobile number to one of the surgeons and, said, and gave me a piece of paper basically saying I could... Basically the news is a reference. A referral, sorry. Basically the news is a referral to go see him. So I made an appointment to go see him and that's on the 21st of Feb. Um, but, yeah, and and now the pain has subsided, the, the blood's gone, so I... I don't think you'll find anything, to be honest. I'm not sure if he's going to get a consultation, use a camera to have a look around, I don't, I'm not sure. Um, I should play a ring and figure that out, maybe. But, basically, I don't feel like anything because it's all subsided since that. So, yeah, Australian health system, usually pretty good. But for this, not happy. I mean, if I even had a doctor who wasn't, like, she just went to short stay for some other reason, to talk to someone or whatever. She walked past my bed, the curtain had reopened a bit, and she came and said, Are you in pain? I'm like, yes, I am in pain. She said, well, well it's not really in my area. I, I'll, I'll let the short stay know that you're still in pain here. Yeah. Still didn't change anything. Still got sent home. Ridiculous, I don't know. Yeah, not happy. I mean, I've made an appointment, but whether anything comes of that, I don't know. So, yeah, so that's that's just a couple of things that are happening. So, I'm currently not working. I wish I could put ads on this to make, to make a little bit of money, but I can't. And secondly, I was in hospital, and I don't know what's wrong, and I don't know if the doctor will figure it out. Yeah. So that's... Yeah, like I said, no bizarre updates that you know, don't want to be one of those fake people on YouTube who says everything's fine when it's not. If you subscribe to me, then I feel you have a right to know what's going on. Anyway, it's going up to 10 minutes now, so I'll stop it there. Remember to like and comment on this video. I love it when I get comments, I love reading your comments when I do get them. So please comment and don't forget to subscribe. If you're new, my name is Nick Ninja Adams. Um, Ninja because my initials are N-I-J-A. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you later on this week with a review of The Finning. Bye for now.